good morning friends good morning students today we discuss one of the most important concepts of the german language the modal verbs with the understanding of the modal verbs you will be able to make very good sentences you will be able to speak the language you will be able to frame sentences quite easily in the basic stage itself you know in one sentence only one word will get conjugated only one verb will get conjugated that is the modal verb most of the time preference will be given to or not all the time most of the time all the time preference will be given to the modal verb the modal verb's location is the second position of the sentence for an affirmative sentence during a question the modal verb is in at the beginning let us now therefore le listen to the conjugation of all the modal verbs there are total six modal verbs in german six so let's learn the pronunciation we have the first modal verb as must listen ich muss du musst er sie es muss wir müssen hier müsst sie sie müssen then pause the video And look at the pronunciation. Look at the conjugation of the verbs. Ich muss, du musst, er sie es muss, wir müssen, ihr müsst, sie sie müssen. Ich darf, du darfst, er sie es darf, wir dürfen, ihr dürft, sie sie dürfen. Können, can. Ich kann, du kannst, er sie es kann, wir können, ihr könnt, sie sie können. We are going to like songs of modal verb. Ich mag, du magst, er sie es mag, wir mögen, ihr mögt, sie sie mögen. Wir wollen wollen. Ich will. Du willst, er sie es will, wir wollen, ihr wollt, sie sie wollen. Ich soll, du sollst, er sie es soll, wir sollen, ihr sollt, sie sie sollen. Last one, aber möchten, möchten, du want. If it's between wollen and möchten, is that möchten is more of desire, and wollen is more most of times formal want. Ich möchte, du möchtest, er sie es möchte, wir möchten, ihr möchtet, sie sie möchten. Difference between möchten and wollen, both of them are want. Wollen is more of a formal type, and möchten more of the desire type. Desire, request, politeness is möchten. This is the conjugation of the six one of us here. Now let us discuss the concept further. Okay. Today's topic is modal verbs. We learn the conjugation of the six modal verbs. We learn the logic and the method of using these modal verbs. In one sentence. In one sentence. Only one verb. Get conjugate. And. In case of the same, in case in a sentence, usually the modal verb is conjugated. For example, modal verb is conjugated. It comes in the second position. In a normal affirmative, normal sentence. I mean, affirmative. I don't understand. Normal sentence, normal positive affirmative sentence. Modal verb comes in the second position. It gets conjugated as per the noun pronoun, as per the subject. In case of a question, start with the modal verb. If there is a modal verb, and you want to form a question, you start with the modal verb. Discuss with this a sentence in in a while. In one sentence, only one verb will get conjugated. That is one concept. Modal verb is conjugated in case of a sentence, for affirmative sentence. The modal verb will get preference; it will get conjugated and will come in the second position in sentence. What is this? This, this. We have a sentence like this: I must learn German. As per the concept, "ich" is the subject, pronoun, noun; "ich" is the pronoun. As per "ich" the conjugation of "must" it must. Now, the second verb is "learnen." Learn is "learnen." In German. The second verb should not be conjugated as per this concept. Only modal verb, one verb will get conjugated, which is the modal verb, which has got conjugated. 
and now learn is the second verb. This will in German go to the end of the sentence, go to the end of the sentence, and has this concept. It will not get conjugated at all. The learner will go to the. End. This concept is very difficult to understand, very important as well, but it very important. It moves all the other words of the sentence in between. It moves twice like. Second verb, swite a verb, I'm end up, and it's not conjugated. Now you understand the concept. I explain this with more examples. It's most twice learned. We have, we can speak German. We have we are the pronoun, the subject. According to we are the pronoun of can, can we get conjugated? As discussed earlier, the conjugation of this is can. Speak is the second verb. It will go to the end. It will not get conjugated. We are Kyonan. Toy expression. We are Kyonan. Toy expression. The second verb has gone to the end and has discussed not get conjugated. We can speak, speak German. The second verb goes to the end and does not get conjugated. Let us discuss more examples. We have a uh, Kyanan, Musan, we have discussed Musan and Kyanan, we discussed Peter. Peter can dance well. It's also an affirmative sentence, positive sentence. Peter can well is good. Second one is dance, which is dancing as it is without quantity conjugate. The infinity form, the main form, we go to the end of the sentence. Peter can do dance. A very important concept with this concept. With this concept, you will be able to make sentences, especially in the cyber tiles. So, I will be writing an email in the A1 standard with A1 exam. This will help you make sentences in expression as well as in standard. Expression, you can make questions like this. Do you want to, we are discussing the questions in the question form. You want to learn German. Do you want, want to start over? Means to do. In the most test two means to do. So I second one is learner is not going conjugated and go to the end. We have W question one. When can you come? You can note down stuff. These parameters, this format should be known to you. One second question verb, modal verb, one second, and the second verb will not get conjugated, go to the end and will not get conjugated and comes to common. It's one concept. Learn. How to make questions without double question? I have to start with the modal word. Second one will not get conjugated and go to the end. When there is W question, this is what happens. When can you come? When one W question, then the modal word, second position, and the subject, and then the second position, second verb, arm end up. Arm end of the sentence. Let us discuss more examples. No more verb. I like to dance. Mark Mugget, which mark here, second word dance is dancing, not get conjugated to the end of the sentence. Which mark it dancing. We have common, Kernan, Muslim, Muslim, Zolan. I should do not do it. We have ish, subject should. Zolan, Zol, conjugation nisht. S will come first, S nisht. To do is mark him, do not get conjugated, go to the end of the sentence. Is Zol as niche mark. Two more examples. Modal verb is a very, very, as per me, I like the concept basically. Personally, I like modal verb very much. You can make lots of practice. We can make lots of sentences with the help of modal verbs. You have more, more, most of the obstacles of forming sentences are removed when you learn modal verbs. Especially in the special part, when you want to, mock, want to mock, when make questions. Do you want to buy a car, for example? The word is auto, and you have to make question, you make a question like this. Do you want to buy a car? So you want to go to Wills too, or the Mostres too. The Mostres Z will go and Z in their formal form. I, Mostres do I, Auto, Auto. 
question start with the word whenever we form questions without w questions we we'll start with the verb in this case modal work case we start with the modal work very very nice concept so very nice concept we will enjoy this concept because we will be able to make sentences we will be able to make questions many of the hurdles of speaking the language are removed the obstacle of making sentences is removed here you know forming questions now we know imperative we know possessive pronouns you know possessive pronouns now we know modal verbs the modal verbs if you observe you have more than more opportunities to make sentences more more uh, what stuff you have in your hand to make sentences most of us want to make my father wants to shop wants to shop to in case of 10 bars what happens is a 10 bars the prefix does not go to the end it stay as it is my father right shop is ein kaufen the prefix will not get separated in case of modal verb to stay as it is I'm part of it. How do I stop? This concept is like this. I must stop now. Stop is often it's a ten bar as well. Often you will not get separated as we discussed in the ten bar as well case. It's a ish must text of you. It's a separation of verbs. Separation of prefix and verb. Prefix and verb stay together. Yes, after ten bar as well. Modal verb will be conjugated. Second verb ten bar as well will stay as it is without any separation, without any conjugation. Mister. It's out here. She will say it's out here. One more move we can take. In fact, start. The train must. The train can. It must. It must. It must. Stop now. The train must. Let's start now. Start now. It's unfunnel. Is it tomorrow as well? Unfunnel. Stay as it is at the end. No prefix separation. No conjugation. The two must yes. Or the show must start now. Party must start now. Party. Party must. Next. And by us, we have no separation. Prefixion verb, no conjugation because the modal verb is there. Second, it is conjugated, and the second verb is the start. One time we go to the end of the sentence. All the words will come in between, and the second verb will go perfectly to the end. There is no other exception to this fact. This fact. Understood. Any doubts? You can just make ask me in the in the class. You can ask me anywhere. We meet. <laughs> Uh, I'll put it in the comments. You can note down stuff. Write this stuff. Understand the concept of modal verbs. Very, very important. Modal verbs. It's a very, very important concept. Modal verbs. In the sentence, only the modal verb will get conjugated. Modal verb will get the preference to be conjugated. And the second verb will not get conjugated. It will go to the end of the sentence. We have two verbs in case of two verbs. In case of three verbs, more than two verbs, we discuss that later. So two verbs, second verb will stay as it is, go to the end, and the verb modal verb will come to the second position and get conjugated. In case of a question with W question, the modal verb will come to the second position. In case of without a W question in a question, start with the modal verb. The question will start with the modal verb. W question forming question, the W question, then the modal verb, then second verb to the end. It will not be conjugated. Any doubts you can ask during the class. You can make some interesting sentences. So any other modal we are left with me again over here, talk and golden listen, question over here. Yeah, Zolan over here. Six verbs we have used. We have demonstrated this with six modal verbs. There are modal verbs, let's do pay attention to the modal verbs. These are certain sentences. Yeah, so Shom says book. Just have to conjugate the modal verb as per the noun form. Okay, Arun must. Arun is a noun. Second, third person singular. Arun must. Peter is third person singular noun. Third person singular noun. Peter will English learn. You can solve these exercises later. So for now, let us enter the third modal verb.
ट्रांसमिशन ऑफ दिस एंड दिस फॉर एग्जांपल वी वांट टू हेल्प शेयर द स्क्रीन ऑप्शन ऑफ स्क्रीन शेयर वी वांट टू हेल्प हियर बोलन हेल्प बोलन को कॉन्जुगेट एज पर बी सेकंड ऑफ हेल्प कैन गेट टू द एंड हियर बोलन हेल्प आई डोंट वांट टू सी इट ishvil as nisht not is there nisht see zehn ishvil as nisht zehn second one zehn he wants to come air will come in air must come in there is a question here do they want to sleep bolen sie schlafen they bolen sie wollen bolen sie schlafen we start with the modal verb so there is no w question here we want to form a question so start with the verb a verb will be the modal verb bolen the must must sie schlafen These other parts during the class we discuss in the class. This topic for now. Any doubts you have? Remember this. Like, same screen not only visible here. We have some extra areas. Just conjugate Arun is a noun. Third person singular verb will come here. Must Arun must not get out of the homework. Arun still has to do the homework. Peter want. Peter will English learn. Peter must English learn. Just conjugate the verb as per the noun and pronoun. Simple concept. Just to practice the conjugation of modal verbs. The concept is important. The concept is important. Is this? Shall discuss that later. Yes. Go down, stop. Understand concepts. And so any doubt you have, just clear during the class. You need not. This is the concept of modal. Very very important concept. Modal will come in the second position. It will not get conjugated. It will get conjugated. But modal will get conjugated. Come to the second position. Second verb will not get conjugated and go to the end of sentence. Modal will be in the second position in the affirmative positive normal sentence. In the question, in W question, तो है तो question तो modal will be in the second position again. Coming question without W question, start with the verb which is modal verb. In our case, we start with the modal verb. Any doubts? Just ask me, of course. 